Your first step in creating the drawstring bag is to cut your fabric to size. If you've brought, bought yardage, it's going to be folded in half, kind of hot dog style. Um, we are going to open that up and use just about half the fabric at one time. Now your fabric is most likely going to have this edge on it. This is called the selvage. This is a tightly woven edge of your fabric that's used in the construction of the actual fabric. Um, it's a little bit thicker because this is where the machines will grab onto it and send it through uh, looms and dyeing machines. This part is something that we do not want to include in any of our projects, like ever. So the first thing that I want you to do is to cut that off. Use your straight, <clears throat> straight edge and a rotary mat to cut that off. All right. It says in our instructions that we need to cut a piece 11 by 17 and a piece that's five and a half by five. I'm going to straighten out this edge. So I'm going to start counting from my fabric at the zero line. Numbers start at zero and then they go up from there. I don't want to start at one. That does not indicate that I have had one inch of fabric unless I've started at zero. So I'm just going to go ahead and go down my fabric and I'm just going to cut a big piece off that is 17 inches long. My extra fabric, I'm just going to set aside. We're not going to need it anymore for right now. So I have my 17 width. I need to have my 11 length from here. So again, I'm going to move this over to line it up on the zero line. And then from there, I can use the marks on the mat to cut 11 inches. Now, this is going to be the main part of your get this all cut. Don't cut sideways. I always talk, cut away from you. All right. This is going to all be the main part of your fabric. So your pocket or your bag is going to end up looking like this. So if you have a directional print, you want to make sure the direction is going up at this point. So hopefully you're watching the whole video before you actually start cutting. All right, we are going to save this. We're just going to set it aside. We will need it later. Now for the pocket that we're going to be putting on the apron, we need it to be five by five and a half. And I'm really close at this point. I'm almost at six here. So I'm just going to cut five inches off this direction. These rulers are five inches themselves. So that also makes for a nice measurement. This is our extra. We'll set that aside. I'm going to turn the fabric the other direction. It's just a little bit easier when I'm cutting away from myself rather than trying to cut on a horizontal. All right, so now I have my fabric ready for my project. I have a piece of fabric 11 by 17. I can put this on and I can measure it that it goes to 11 and 17 inches. And then I have a piece for my pocket, which is five by five and a half.